I'm singing today with Joaquin Cavacama, who is the CEO of CIP. It's uh, in Brazil. It's the uh, clearing and settlement uh, agency, which covers the funds transfer system, the ACH, and the interbank transfer system. Thank you, Mr. Cavacama, for speaking to us today. Oh, thank you for the invitation. CIP was set up in 2001, basically yeah. to be a risk mitigation system for yes. the, the banks as a central uh, clearing and settlement infrastructure. Could you maybe uh, get, get into a little bit of the history and the reason why CIP was created? Uh, back in the 90s, Brazil have suffered the crisis that the world saw uh, in 2008 with um, Lehman Brothers. Uh, because we had some banks that uh, went on bankruptcy in the mm -hmm. beginning of the 90s. And then we realized that we, we should uh, enforce and have a, a strong financial system in Brazil. So the central bank promoted this uh, evaluation and we actually applied the BIS principles to redesign and actually reform the payment system in Brazil. Uh, in that regard, uh, the funds transfer for large value payments, uh, we, we need uh, uh, clearing to be responsible as the central counterparty. So CP was created in 2001, and actually the reform, the total reform, went live in 2002. So since 2002, Brazil has a very strong payment system. Uh, it's recognized by the World Bank as one of the best in the world. And actually in 2008, it proved its resilience because we didn't suffer too much from the world crisis. So it, um, it shows that best press practices, the principles of BIS, of delivery versus payment, having uh, collaterals and having central counterpart really works to mitigate the risk for the whole system. Uh, I guess Brazil has an ambition to be a regional financial center. Uh, how is this going to, to leverage uh, Brazil in that sense? Well, in fact, the economy in Brazil is very strong. The macroeconomic uh, condition is very good, and, and Brazil is one of the big, big countries that uh, the worldwide is looking at. And in fact, uh, Brazilian currency, the real, uh, has been more strong than ever. We are receiving a lot of uh, investment, and, and capital is inflowing. That's that's why real is. Uh, is strong against other currency, against dollar. Uh, the way to promote Brazil as a strong infrastructure uh, uh, is that uh, as a country big with a big internal market, uh, we have a, a lot of room to grow. So if you look at some of the um, comparisons like market cap as compared to GDP, uh, Brazil has a two, three percent of market cap and um, average worldwide is 15 to 18 percent so there is a lot of room to grow we we are seeing big growth in the region uh like like uh, uh securities bonds and everything growing 25 percent year per year and the economy is growing five percent year per year and when we look at other regions uh we don't have that uh, that big growth year to year so i think the companies that are thinking new revenues, new uh, avenues to grow their revenue, they are looking to countries like Brazil, Latin America, BRIC countries, because the, uh, the market is very strong there. And of course, as we have trades, more trades, more uh, companies uh, go doing global businesses, we need infrastructure for payments, for security, for the financial infrastructure, so we can handle all the payments that will inflow to the country and outflow from the country. So that's what we are working together and actually participate in many global initiatives in order to connect Brazil to other jurisdictions. And also we have an association called Brain Just Form. We have Just Form Association actually to tackle the issues to have the proper uh, infrastructure in Brazil, not only on payments, but uh, roads, airports and everything to be a really a, a financial hub. So the infrastructure initiative, um, is, has, uh, how, how has that been, been growing? I mean, uh, could you describe that a little bit more? It's, it, it goes outside the financial system. It will go outside the financial system. And what's, the, and what's fin the size of that investment of the government? Uh, I, d I don't have the figures, but uh, uh, as you know, we, we will have two big global events coming uh, coming ahead. L 2014, we have World Cup, and 2016, we have Olympics Games in Rio de Janeiro. So th just those two events 
is bringing a lot of investment, so we have to put a lot of money in infrastructure so that uh, we, can, uh, we can handle those two big events. So that's a total, total infrastructure plan, including financial yeah. services? Yeah, sure. What you've, done now, what you've done now is you've been putting in the, the billing and invoicing uh, systems into, into CIP. I understand that this is a, a pretty unique feature. Can you tell me what you've seen uh, at other countries around the world and how the infrastructure handles that uh, and what you've set out to do and what you've achieved? Okay. Uh, I will give a bit of a hist history and context so that uh, you, you can understand why it is unique. Uh, in Brazil, we have uh, for more than 30 years created a payment instrument, which we call in Portuguese Boleto de Cobrança. It's a payment slip, and uh, uh, the company can hire a bank, and the bank issue that payment slip. Uh, and the customers and the company, so it's a B2C and B2B payment instrument, they can pay at any bank up to the due date. So this feature is unique in, in this payment instrument. I have not seen that uh, feature in other countries. So usually when you go to another country, either the bank that has issued the payment uh, you, you have to go to that bank or send the checks to that bank to make that payment. In Brazil, if I receive a payment slip for uh, collection, uh, I can pay at my bank, and my bank is not the bank that uh, has issued that payment. So uh, I think that's unique. And uh, to give some figures for you, uh, last year we had uh, 2 billion payment slip being uh, issued in the account. So it's a very popular because when you buy a car and you finance that car, you are going to receive uh, the number of installments in payment slips to make the payment. So this is unique. Now, what we have introduced in as an innovation, we started discussion back in 2003 after CIP was uh, found and then we started doing the operations. Uh, we had the infrastructure in the country to uh, actually promote the invoicing presentation, which is different from what we see worldwide because we got to, um, to a, a, a collaborative space where all banks participate in the business model and we were able to uh, have all banks that issue boletos de cobrança participate in this invoicing presentation. So we after 11 months of uh, development between 2000 and 2009, we launched uh, what we call DDA. It's not a direct debt product, it's an invoice, invoicing, but uh, uh, with all banks. So today, one bank that has an um, uh, invoice and the customer has enrolled to receive it electronically, uh, this customer will receive the invoice of all banks that has something to be collected from him. And he is from one bank, he can see all payment obligation that he has and make it all electronic. So the benefits are huge. We have uh, presented in just one year 200 million uh, invoices, boletos de cobrança electronicos. Uh, and um, we have now enrolled 5 million customers. Uh, we start with 1 million, which was a very nice and big surprise when we started operation back in October of last year. And now we, we got 5 million customers. So if you consider, yeah, and, and it's a high level of automation for our, our businesses. It's very nice because we have a real straight through process, end to end, without manual intervention. So you can imagine the type of savings the corporation can get from a total electronic payment instrument and, and controlling all reconciliation, all that stuff in their accounts payables and account receivable. And, and also contributing to uh, the planet because we are saving trees to be cut to make paper, we are saving uh, gas for transportation, a lot of uh, logistic stuff that uh, with electronics we can get rid of. So I think it's something that other countries can implement and, uh, and actually benefit all the uh, payment chain, if you will.